David, 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 David Banner. Mr. Moody, one one other thing I want to ask you, and then I want to focus on Miss Moody for right. for a second, and then Regina's going to ask her question. And Lee has had this burning question that he's wanted to ask you for a very long time since he knew you as my mentor. I just made that up, Lee. I don't know. Lee, you can ask me whatever you want. I'm gonna always tell the truth. Cool. <laughs> I can, I, can, I can take that one. Um, Mr. Mo- Mr. Moody, you told me um, one time that um, I forgot what it was. I know. You, I, did, you tend to do that. I, I, yeah, I really. I, I well, go on and go to Ms. Moody. All right, Ms. Moody. Um, what, 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 what would you say that has been the one key to sustainability? Um, because there's a difference between getting married, and I think a lot of people get married with the intent or knowing that they're like, that's one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to get married. If I get married, and Lee, can I at least have support with this? What I tell you when I get married, what I'm not going to do? See. Right. That's why you ain't married. Yeah, <laughs> and when I when I get married, I'm going to be done. Because why get married if you're right. going to lie about it? Right. right. That's and that's, and that's, that's how true. we work. Right. You could just stay together and keep... <laughs> See, I didn't cuss. Good, but you know the other thing is, and, and I'll let Carla talk on this, marriage ain't for everybody either. I tell that to people. Mm-hmm. I mean, You tell me that all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, it's, and there's nothing wrong if you don't get married. There's nothing wrong if you're in a relationship and y'all believe in multiple parts. Everybody has Wait, to find their place. Say that again. <laughs> yeah. No, Wait, there are some people who, are, who believe in multiple parts. See, Lee, you can get in the conversation now. No, there are some people that, that believe in multiple uh, I'm too. We're both too jealous to do that. But there are some people, I, and I respect everybody's point of point of view in that. This is what works for me and Carla, the way we do it. But marriage isn't for everybody. Uh, a one, you know, one person relationship isn't for everybody. You got to do what works for you, not what you think society says you should do. I never thought Love that it. that would come out true. I'm- no, I'm serious about that. Especially as you age, you just have to get real with stuff. Miss Moody, sustainability. Sustainability? Yeah. Um, I would say the same thing. And also, commu- like I say, communication is the key. That's the whole key to marriage, I think. Miss Moody, I never forget when um, when Mr. Moody was the hardest on me when we were dealing with um, my finances. Because mm-hmm. they, if y'all see me in the way that I handle my finances, it's because of them. And Mr. Moody was all over my back. And I was like, Miss Moody, I can't never make him happy. And you was like, I told him all that anyway. True. <laughs> she did. She's the one who's True. always kept, kept the books. I kept, I've always kept the books. Yeah, and, and you sat down and taught yeah. me, and to this day, yeah. I know where I— it, I'm not quite where you were, Mr. Moody. I remember when you told me you knew where all your money was right. up into $2,000. Except for what she skimmed off the top. Hilarious. I don't know how much she's gotten. <laughs> but you went—I'll never forget. Uh, I'll to just tell y'all the story for those of you all in podcast land. When Mr. Mo- Mr. Moody said, son, I'm going to teach you how to become wealthy. He said, first of all, how much do you pay the guy to do your lawn? How much do you pay for you? He asked me all these questions. I didn't have an answer to none of them. He was like, son, I'm younger than you. I make, well, at the time, he was like, yeah, I make about 80% more than you do, way more than you do. But he was like, and I'm older than you, and I know where all my money is. So he pointed to the yard guy. I pay that guy this amount. I pay this guy this amount. And I didn't know. He asked me. He literally asked me this. He said, when you were in the streets, did somebody else count your money? And Mr. Moody doesn't cuss that much. He turned around and asked me. He said, well, if you didn't let somebody count your money when you were in the streets, why in the fuck do you let somebody count your money? He don't play when it comes to money. A lot of other stuff he play about, not about money. He said, why do you let somebody else count your money? Next week I went in and, and fired my accountant. And yep. from that point, my accountant, the only thing he does is taxes. Mm-hmm. He texts and he checks my books and put my books up against his numbers. T- t- tell us about that, Miss M- Miss Moody, like the balance between the male energy and the female energy, especially when it comes to you all's children, like the mother and, and the fathering of it. Well, I I don't believe in making the father be the heavy. And if you mess up, you get it where you do it. So I, you know, used to carry a wooden spoon when they were little, and I would tear those little legs up if they got, you know. (laughs) 
<laughs> and that's just how I sound. <laughs> so it wasn't a wait till your daddy gets home type of right. situation. And um, he was out working, so my job was to take care of the home. It's always been my job is to take care of everything in the home. He takes care of everything outside of the home. Can I tell you one of the funniest things that happened when I was living with y'all? <laughs> So you remember whenever you... <laughs> should I you talking about this? the time when I thought you was going, I came running out naked? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Regina! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Regina, sorry. No, that time that Miss Moody was... Uh, she was p- picking up something heavy. Miss. <laughs> oh, yeah, you and, went to help her. And I went to he- help her. He was like, no, don't do it. You're going to mess everything up. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, let her work like that, bro. Don't mess it up. Start Ms. helping. And Miss Moody make bricks. Yeah. Um, um, out of paper. Uh, yeah. Out and, of we paper. and we burn them. Yeah. yeah. Like, Recycle. I'm really into recycling. You pretty, like, yeah. Miss Moody, I just see you go pick up the the, the, the drill yeah. and the hammer. I, I fix everything in the house. Oh, I tell everybody, I, I, in I the got house. the best husband a man can have. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's about knowing the balance in the family, right? Right. right. Yep. It was and, an agreement we made, and, and we stick to it. And that's the other thing, just like... The way I kept my checkbook when we got married, I never wrote bad checks. But if I was within within a hundred bucks, I was cool. Mm-hmm. Well, she's the she was the type. The bank, the uh, check register had to balance to exactly. She would stay up to yes, two in the to she would stay up to two in the morning to find that penny. Yes. Mm-hmm. So my ego wasn't such that I said I'm the man. I'm a manager of money. I said, baby, you got this. Now I will say this: we were broke, so we didn't have nothing to worry about. Now, when we started making some money, I did tell her one time, I said, you want me to keep the books now? She went, no. No. I said, I, stay, I tried. Stay in your lane yeah. and here's your allowance. Right. Oh, I got an allowance. Shots yeah. Shots fired. Shots fired. Miss hey, Moody, um, i never forget this. You you were the one that taught me about fighting about a penny. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people be like, man, if it's, if it's less than a dollar, I'm not tripping. Miss Moody taught me that with the electric companies... At the end of every year, she picked the, the electrical companies against each other. And what I learned, and I actually heard somebody else say this, but I applied it to y'all. She said, wealthy people, they collect money like you collect um, um, paintings. And you got to be as serious about every penny, every dime. Can, can you expound on that, Miss Moody, about what you taught me? Oh, right. So at the end of every year, I look and see how much the, um, the different energy companies are um, per therm, how much they're charging and everything, and how much I'm going to be paying for it. And then I find out which one is going to give me the best deal. And then sometimes if you call the company that you're with and and tell them that you're going to leave them, they'll give you a better deal. That's what Even, I do. I, de- I definitely do that so with do my that cable companies. I do that, I do that every, with the cable yeah. companies yeah. a lot. You do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> right, right. Regina actually does that with with with, with what I do. Right. Like I'm talking about down to the to the last cent. And even though I do believe it, um, I'm a little lax with comfort. Cause you taught me yeah. that, Mr. Moody. Like if if and I will say this, when when y'all see me flying less than three hours, and y'all may see me like not in first class, Mr. Moody taught me that. He was like, if if it's less than two hours, son, you say that. You say that, you say that, you save that coin. That the people in first class only get there a second right. before you do. You know, now I, I, after three hours, I right. make sure. A- after but. two hours, especially as you age, after two hours, you can go to first class. But, you know, the other thing is, too, we buy everything on sale. We don't pay full price for none. Our clothes, we always buy it when it's coming the season mm-hmm. out. And But then the other thing you learn as you age is how little you really need. Mm hmm. If you look in your closet, you got stuff that you got that you ain't worn in years, but you won't get rid of it. DOC said last week, if if Easy E, ask Easy E now if he wants the money or if he want to be happy, the quality of life. And the fact that Easy E is dead, right? People will probably always want life first. And and I remember what? What happened? She what? laughing. What? You don't want life? No, it's good ready to say <laughs> to him. <laughs> No, yeah. But why is that funny, though? Because when it comes to certain things... No, because... No, because... There's certain things you gotta understand. My wife. Why are you up, turning red, yeah. Miss Moody? Hold on. No, I, I want to know what she's thinking. No, no, I gotta tell you why. See, my wife grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay, <laughs> so her black history is kind of <laughs> lagging. 
Like, oh, I get it. Yeah, she, she didn't know who. So he was. she, she, <laughs> I know who you were talking about, but, but she I didn't know like, if he was even he, still alive. You do know that he's like, Miss. Hey, we have to have a disclaimer right now because of who Mr. Moody is. Mr. Moody has nothing to do in in no way from a business standpoint connected with the David Banner podcast. Um, um CD Moody construction. <laughs> you know what? Let me let me say this. I've I've never and never will be ashamed of of you or what you say. I know this is your platform yeah. and. As long as you are comfortable and you aren't hurting anybody, I, I never you you've never heard me tell you. Yeah, I know. I but know. I tell you what, I do like Shorty Say though. That's one of my favorite records. What's, what's your favorite line to Shorty Say? She pulled on my zipper, and you know what happened next. Shelly! Wow. And the only reason why that's me and Miss Moody's call sign when we're out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I go, Shorty Say. She knows what that means. Time to go home. I was in that video. Were you? Yep. Yes, he was. Oh, wow, that's he was cool. The detective. Banner slammed me on the hood. Oh, oh that was you? Yeah, with the gum. Again, yeah. that is right. I forgot. Uh, Miss Moody. Uh, Mr. He's Moody. living out his wildest fantasies right. that he could beat me, Corey. No, that could never happen. I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are <laughs> a killer by said, nature. Is, that's what you do. This is your one time to get it off, bro. Go ahead. Do you ahead. have a question for Miss Moody, Regina? Yes, I have two, actually. First, I would like to find out, in 37 years of marriage, how have you been able to maintain your identity? As an oh. Ooh, Gina. That's a good one. Um, that's why, that was one of the reasons I, I became a nurse. Oops, sorry. That's one of the reasons I went back to school to become a nurse because the business, we started together, but that was his thing. Tell him what happened when you worked with me for six months oh. and what happened. Yeah, he started talking to me like I was the help, so. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, you can be the, the boss in one place. You can have here and I have home. So I decided to go back to nursing school because I always wanted to have something that I knew that I could take care of myself, that I didn't need him, if, you know, and in case anything happened, I could take care of my kids. And that was the other and thing. so that's why. And one of the reasons I also had her keep the books i've seen in my life and parents friends and stuff when a husband died unexpectedly mm -hmm. or something the woman know, knew where nothing was and i always told her i want you to know everything because if something happens to me i i don't want you going what happens and we've seen it happen uh to too many people where and, they yeah, didn't Mr. know anything Louis, that was part of my next question no she and, knows everything hold on before you ask that question and even with me and Lee, you know how secretive y'all all know how secretive I am. They got it. They have a key to all of my houses. They have right. a key to all of my cars, in case some Miss Moody got that. <laughs> she, that's so funny. She got a box with everybody keys in it, like Charles and Kari. Everybody, like, neighbors, friends, neighbors, neighbors, everybody, so that if something happened, like even with my mom, yep. my 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 um. What do you call it? The safe deposit box. Y'all yeah. got the key to yeah. it, but my mom know that they can come to y'all and get it. Go ahead, Regina. What was the other question? I was going to say, um, you guys say that you maintain or you share one bank account, and most or well, a lot of married couples I know don't. Um, I was going to ask you, can you explain why you do that and you start talking about no, Go ahead, Carla, why? Uh, we did it because it made it easier for me to keep the books, you know, because we just had one pile that all the money went into and one pile that we paid the things. Plus, you know, we work as a team and we're one. You know, when we got married, we said we are now, we went from two to one. Say and that so, again, Mrs. Moody. <laughs> that we are one. And so, therefore, there's only one account. Yeah, And, and let me say this. Now, it also depends at Ms. the Mr. age. Mr. Moody, hold oh. on a second. So, Sally. Yeah. Sally is so he, Sally is young in his prime. But, but let me he's, he's yeah. usually he's so selfish. engaged. He's still selfish. And Lee over there like Well let me explain something <laughs> to you. Mary, he was like marriage. Uh, Lee, I, come on, dog. I mean, I'm Lee does look I'm like listening. he's in a trance. Well, say something. I'm just, all I can do is take notes to whatever I need to use. You're trying to learn. That's what we're yeah. doing. <laughs> I mean, he, I, thought have, I, I thought he looked in something. We look, have I, nothing to add to this question. I'll be honest with you. I actually, I actually Absolutely thought. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was laughing. We know as much about marriage as we do nursing or construction. Y'all yeah. can talk about whatever y'all want to. We just going to sit right but here. I'm in, the same, I'm in the same boat as y'all. And yet, here you are talking. 
y'all leaving me? That's not fair. Why you leaving me by myself, though? You put yourself out there. But, me and Lisa sat back. But we a team. But let me say this on that on the checking account. This is important. <laughs> it also depends at the stage of life you get married. Now, I'm a firm believer. If you got married and you had some, both of y'all had some resources, then I think you both should kind of say, all right, here are the resources that I'm bringing to the table, but we're both going to leave this kind of separate. This is what we're going to start our day yeah, one with. And then you kind of join forces. So I, there's a difference between getting married when you broke and then maybe when you both have some assets. And But even then, I think, because we always kind of find it interesting when, when people are married and they go, well, you pay these bills and I pay that bill. That's just like a roommate to us. But that's, we're 63 years old. We've always felt that if we're really in this together, we're in this together. But I also understand if you get ma married later in life and you've developed and you've gotten some assets, why you would pull those assets. Like both our kids, when they get married, they do prenups. They have to do a prenup. Just, I just believe in that. But, and that is protect whatever you have coming in. But going forward, once you get married, we feel that this is our opinion, that you just got to work as a team. You you can't worry about, you know, like we, before I would buy something, we would go to each other and say, not that I need to get her permission or vice versa. It was just a respect kind of thing for each other until they laughed at my old car I had. And, <laughs> and I didn't care what they thought. And I went and bought me a convertible Benz two-seater just because they laughed at my old car. <laughs> and I don't even have that she anymore. She embarrassed him downtown. Still really? mountain. She backfired and she they backfired said she her. farted. <laughs> they dogged me. <laughs> so uh, I'll ask in closing, um, if, if there was a young couple that was sitting in, in front of both of you all and you could give them just the synthesis of what you think is important for having a long-lasting relationship... What would both of you all say? You go first, baby. Well, first I would say the first few years are always going to be hard because you were each of you were individual raised by a different set of parents. Mm -hmm. And so you have different values, um, basically different things that you grew up with, how you react. And how you react to anything is based on your childhood and, you know, how you learn that. So when you get married, you have those first few years, you have to learn how to figure out um, how to bring that together because, you know, how I respond to something might not be the way he does. And so I might not understand it. So we have to, that's where I keep saying about communication. You have to talk it through so you, you understand why he's acting the way he is um, or why I'm acting the way I am to something. So the first few years are kind of the hardest, I would say, those first 32, no, <laughs> those first... Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 shot fire, shot fire across the bow. <laughs> Do you have a do you have a bomb? You can do you have a bomb? <laughs> Actually not with me. You need to have a bomb, Corey. <laughs> and with anything he can he can make it though, man. Yo, you should hit a bomb on that. Drop it right there. All right. Drop the mic. No. The first no, really, the just the first few years are the hardest, I think. Because you're just really learning how to live with someone else who has different the ways they were raised. Mm -hmm. Corey, I just thought about something. Dirtbag Corey. Is in his. <laughs> he got a mole house hat on. Oh. Hey, you know, class O2. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, you can say that. That's okay, because mole house deserves that kind of, you know, fired upness. What you, 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 you got to say, Scott? Why are you looking over here, Carl? I'm a, I'm a <laughs> supporter of all HBCUs, hey, that's what I'm talking even about. the inferior ones. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Which one did you go to? There is only one, sir, the, the Florida AM. University. Where's that? The highest oh, seven hills. Uh -oh. It's not at the games it's begin. A, it's not in Ann Arbor. Oh! Oh! oh, now that we're almost done. Hold it. I hold it. Say, well, oh, oh, now that we're hold it. Ann Arbor is what it is. Yeah, hey, listen. Oh, Lee, I'm sorry. Hey, Lee, Lee. At least that he has no point of reference. Hey, listen. <laughs> And Lee, oh, now that we about done, now he want to talk. Yeah. Uh, oh, ain't that so? He want to throw haymakers now. <laughs> no, that was Scott. That, that was, was me. Scott. Oh, that was Scott. Scott. That was oh, okay. Scott. So, so Corey, um, you are you are in and in, in your first major 
um, relationship. It's not the first major. No, I mean, but I, you ain't I, never had like at this level. It's the first time I've ever lived with somebody. Yeah, well, yeah uh, with the dogs. Uh, that's the first major. Uh, well, yeah, that's yeah. what I said. The dogs and the puppies and, and soccer. Like oh, her you're dog. in. No, you're what in. Ha- what's happening is is his dog is having sex with her puppy, and it's like this. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> no, 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 that's not what's happening. <laughs> 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 Of course, incest. Corey, but seriously though, is we have to do a disclaimer, right. dear. Yeah. <laughs> is there any 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 question that you would have? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what just happened? Is there any question that you would have for them? No, actually, she answered it because like my biggest thing is like so we just moved in together like a couple months ago, like six months ago, five months ago, something like that. And the hardest part is the adjustment of. Me doing things my way in a certain way, and I was raised a certain way, she was raised a different way, and just coming together, but you hit it on the head with the communication, because that's been the thing that's well, helped us do it. The other thing is, you know, that I would tell a young couple from the com- comment that you asked, mm-hmm. one, you got to laugh a lot. Because, and when I mean laugh, I mean real laughter, to where you two really enjoy each other, because you're going to go through some stuff. You're going to be knocked to your knees. But one of the things I tell young people or anybody going in a relationship as Carla says, everybody interviews well. That's right. what we call dating. Everybody right. on their best. So I always tell young folks, my children, take them out of town for the weekend. If you're tired of them by Saturday, you already know you don't need to be with them. Mm-hmm. But one of the things we see too often is people stay in relationships they know aren't working. And they think it's, it's going to get better. It's not going to get better. If you, have, if you argue a lot in the beginning or you don't trust each other, it's not going to get better. So it's very important that you're honest with each other about why you're in a relationship. And like Ms. Moody said, you, you, Carla said, you just got to com- be honest communication. And there's nothing wrong when it doesn't work and say, you know what, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. Let's just move on. Life's, my daddy taught me this. Life's too short to be miserable. And the other thing is you got to start a relationship the way you want to keep it. So in other words, if you whining and dining them and doing all these things, you got to keep that because that's what got them. That's why, Ms. Moody, our engagement was, hey, you want to get married here a ring? <laughs> I couldn't help but go up. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just serious. Uh, game. Real game. And Real we game. don't know. Let's listen to this. We don't celebrate anniversaries. Valentine's and Day. Valentine's Day, Sweetest Day, all that hallmarky we ce- crap. We don't we don't celebrate any but of that. Miss Moody, that's not fair because you hard as bricks anyway. Like, yeah, but but we just decided. Yeah, we decided though, you know, if if you treat each other good every day, then every day is sweetest. No, day. no, no. But what I'm saying is, Mr. Moody, it's different with Miss Moody because she's hard as bricks anyway. When I had my guns and stuff, it did. <laughs> what was it? A wolf in the backyard? A coyote. A coyote. Yeah, coyote. Miss Moody was like, "Bam! I'll get the gun." Well, she got she got her own stuff that she gets rid of things with out there. But here's the thing that's a, that's that's amazing. Shots fired! Shots fired! But let me say this: we had a trapper come to get some beavers out of our pond, right? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Wait, 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 Hey, uh, Mr. Moody, I, I, I know, know you were CD Moody, but he said Beaver. <laughs> I knew he was he said Beaver. <laughs> That's all he. I know the beaver. Said, I know the beaver I is. I Boy Scouts, he got the Silver Beaver Award. I told him he's always had it. Yeah, that's a yeah. silver <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to get the gold beaver. Yeah. I, I no, I got the I, silver beaver. You got the silver beaver. I'm like, yeah, I'm I got that a couple of years ago. Me. Yeah. So before we leave, do you guys like exercise together? Y'all keep saying 63, but it doesn't show. Oh, well, no, we're 63. But you know what? Here's the difference, too, though. It's also, this is what I believe. We take care of ourselves, exercise, but, man, you got enough stress in life. Mm-hmm. You don't need it at home. We don't have it at home. Now, we got moments where we can't stand each other, but it's always short-lived. Mm-hmm. But it is it will aid you if you're trying to make a living, mm-hmm. and then you come home and, you've, and you're miserable every day. It will take a toll on your health. That's what I told mm-hmm. you this morning. Like, we got to fight for our happiness. And nobody that what I what I was telling Lee this morning is that nobody that's outside of your family that you have to deal with. Right. If if somebody is a choice, they got to bring a level of happiness to you. If not, they need to get away. Well, here's the other thing, and that's also important in relationships. Mm-hmm. If you got friends who trying to come between your relationship, 
unless they really got something that they know isn't good for you, just like me and Ms. Moody had this agreement. We don't see nothing. We don't know nothing. If we see somebody out and they ain't with who they supposed to be with, we ain't seen nothing. T- tell them about how you say you call every time you come oh, home. Oh, yeah. Now, I, be- never heard it. I never heard no, it. You know, this people, is dope. But I do. You know, before I go home from work, I call and say, I'm on my way home. I'll be home in a few minutes because our office is like 800 yards from my house. It's a mile. Well, that's not fair because yeah. that's, that's, yeah. that's the case no, anyway. No, then. but look, I call at least 20 minutes before I go home. Uh, and give me a ticker on this yeah, one. And I do. And I go, and I go, look. I say, I'm on my way home. And people go, why do you call before you go home? I said, because if you fooling me, keep fooling me. Yeah, I like it. I'm, it one, them, huh? I'm one of them brothers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to catch nothing. I don't want to see nothing. To this day, I don't go in her purse. She don't go in my wallet. We just got an agreement like, look, we don't go looking for nothing. My mother taught me real early in life. She said, if you go looking for something, you'll find something. And most of the time, it ain't going to be what you think, but you're going to create something. So we just... You know, like she got my password to my phone. I got it to hers. Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was just gonna say we have each other's passwords. Yeah, yeah. To but don't. That's not influence the younger generation. On no, Corey. I didn't say well, that. Because Corey, they don't have, cut that. They don't Corey, have Corey, to mind Corey, their own cut business. That's no, why. Corey, 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 hold on. I need you to cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> Or bleep, bleep it out. Go bleep, bleep for me. That need to be a total cut. Yeah. <laughs> well, but just like I said, you got to remember, I came along in a generation, both of us, there was no cell phone, there was no internet, there was no video chat. I mean, so you really could disappear. Yeah. You know, it was smooth as could be back then. We, we can't disappear. No, because y'all now oh, FaceTiming yeah. so I can see where you are. And y'all brothers got the FaceTime and everything, and they they tracking y'all and all well, kind of stuff. Moody, don't well, act tell, like... Tell, oh. Wait a minute. He's Go. got to tell you a story about... He is good, fast on his feet. Tell him the story about okay. when you were dating the girl. So I was dating this girl, <laughs> and I told her I was going to the library. This was in college. Yeah. And I went to see another woman, and she knew I had, you know, my girl. So I said, but I need to check in. So I called her, and her dog started barking. So my girl goes, Burr. my girl goes, well, where are you? I mean, without flinching, this one I knew I was a player of all times. I said, oh, I'm at the library. That's a blind man. That's a C and I dog. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. So, so, so hold on. Lee has a story about a dog that he wants to tell you. Oh, my. But that- I also had a dog put on the hood of my car, though. <laughs> <laughs> I had oh a dead my. I had a dead oh, tell dog. A story, tell okay. a story. So that, I thought it was a it was a dead dog. dog. I thought it was a deer. No, that it was, was a, a dead, dead dog. She put a dead dog she on wrote, it. Because I'm a cute dog. She put a dead dog on the hood of my car and wrote creeping pink letters. And then time. left a note and said, next time I won't be so nice. A girl left a possum on mine. Yeah. <laughs> dead possum with maggots. What? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you ne- why you never tell me that? This is a lot of things happen, Banner. It's a, it's a rough life out here. Oh, wow. All right. Well, so. I will say this, though, y'all. When Banner lived with us, man, we had more groupies trying to drive by our crib, <laughs> and everybody wanted to know me to meet Mr. Banner. Can I see? Can you bring Tell him about that cougar when I went to your... Uh, oh, yeah. I took him to my home, to my reunion, right? And uh, and when she was, she was making faces, and, you know, Dave flirts, right? And I had to pull him... To the side, I said, Dave, you don't play with no cougar. They'll hurt you and hurt you bad, boy. Mm-hmm. I said, now you going home because it's grown folks time Uh-oh. now. <laughs> and, and, guess what, and guess what I did? He I went, went home. Went went home. home. Tail and left. Hey, so we, we're about to go. This is the end of um, the show. Um, do you all want to talk about my anniversary present to you all? Not really. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right, I'll tell. <laughs> Mr. Banner gave us a doctor bag with gadgets. How many, oh, how wow. many gadgets? A lot. It was 80 in there. Wow. Well, we got to 65. Wow. Wow. (laughs) That is the end of... What? 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 Can I tell him what y'all told me? What you told me? Mr. Moody said, I wear everything but the whips. That's right. She pulled out the whips and like, that shit hurt. Yeah. (laughs) Nah. Wow. But see, that's how you... But see, here's the deal. That's how you stay happily married, by laughing, being honest, not being, you know, we don't live our life in a way we're ashamed of anything, you know, and we're very honest with people because we want people to understand just because you age doesn't mean things change. Like, you know, even now, though, there are often times where I just like, can't we just cuddle? You said we didn't hug enough, you know, let's just cuddle. 
Don't ever that's, fall for that. But that's how I start. Don't fall for that, ladies. Can we just cuddle? Sometimes it's true, Regina. Hold on. You know what I thought about? <laughs> no, I can't do this. Y'all are mine. No, Moody, go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. Mr. Moody, Moody, I want to. No, go on. Say it. Say it. I can't do this, Miss Moody, because it's. It. Are Cough you it sure? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Just cough it up. Are you sure? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Moody. Mr. Yeah. Moody. Is that, is that a turd? <laughs> he says it a turd. <laughs> yeah. David Banner. What is that? Three pumps and a squirt. Three pumps and a squirt. Three pumps and a squirt. Regina. Regina. Three pumps and a squirt. Three pumps and a squirt. Three pumps and a squirt. Go sell it. I got doing it. Mr. Banner, let me tell you, I've never been three short. I'm 45 minutes and then I take a break. I don't want you talking about Miss Moody is so happy, cause I know what I'm doing. Aha, Mr. Banner. Hey. <laughs> the David Banner Podcast. I can't. Thank y'all. Oh, Peace. Boy. All right. Why <laughs> you think they call me Sweet Daddy? Do drop the honey. Do-